So last time, guys, we had a brief introduction. Course guidelines lang naman, but we did a brief introduction already of financial management or business finance. Today, we're going to start formally uh, this module, Introduction to Financial Management. This will take us up to next week, guys, up to next week to finish this. And then after next week, we'll proceed to Module 2, Financial Statement Preparation, Analysis, and Interpretation. And then this will cover siguro mga two weeks then, <clears throat> two to three weeks. Then after that, we'll have our first quiz. Okay, so now what I intend to do is uh, uh, in the spirit of having activities, in the spirit of having fun, we're going to engage in activities. And uh, para may, may bonus points kayo, I'm going to collate any points that you will have dun sa activities na yun. Tapos at the end, at the end of the term, <clears throat> i-cocolate natin yan, kukunin ko yung percentage ng, ng points nyo. And then I'll give a maximum uh, maximum of 5% bonus based on the in your participation dun sa mga activities natin. So ibig sabihin nun, kunyari, if you got 92% sa final grade nyo, I'll add on to that yung bonus na 5%. So from 3, pwede ka maging 4. No? So that will uh, help you improve your grades. Uh, so yun ang magiging bonus natin. No? So that, that will involve yung mga activities natin. So for today, guys, we'll, we'll be having our first uh, activity. And before I start formally the discussion of the uh, introduction to financial management, let's have a financial literacy review or a quick review of what you know so far as far as uh, finance is concerned. So we're going to have a Kahoot now. Uh, I'm sure alam nyo naman tong, ano, no? alam nyo tong game na to. So we'll do basic finance, Kahoot. Okay, so i-play natin to and kindly load. Pakilagay yung family name nyo and then first name. No? Para, para I know what to, how to summarize the scores. The game pin is 1656648. So make sure you include your family name and family name muna. No? seconds guys so most of the questions here guys are just a review of what you have learned maybe in accounting and some uh, some concepts about finance as our introduction or as our way of using finance <laughs> so let's have 10 more seconds before we start yeah, good <clears throat> So 32. So sana mga 30. Yan, may isa pa, no? Kasi yan, 31, 30 lahat. Okay. Okay, so I think we're complete. Okay, so let's start. First question on basic finance. At uh, 20 seconds to. Company's balance sheet shows the value of assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. Okay, so... Five got the correct answer. Okay, tingnan natin kung bakit kaya, ano, bakit kaya hindi ta mali yung, ano, yung the other answers, no? 
Balance sheet daw, alam natin na assets, liabilities, and stockholders, equity yan. Now, we know that the balance sheet, guys, is it's dated at a specific point in time. Now, pwede siyang fiscal year, pero pwede rin siyang calendar year. Pero hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na calendar year siya lagi or fiscal year siya lagi. But we can say with certainty that it's a, at a specific point in time. Okay? Mali itong for any given, given period of time kasi pang income statement to at saka pang statement of cash flows. Okay, so ang correct answer is at, at a specific point in time. So five got it. Let's see. So nanguna si uh, Lance, Lexi, Sophia, Ernest, Jody. But it's, oh, it's too early to tell. One, one, ano pa lang yan? one question. Okay, so let's go to the next question. The main objective of a business organization. <music> Okay, so meron tayong dalawang nakakuha ng tamang ano. Now, <laughs> medyo challenging din yung question na to kasi uh, ang question natin, the main objective. So, hindi ba dapat objective yung profit maximization or cost minimization or satisfying customers? They are important objectives. However, ang question natin, ang main objective. So, although they are important objectives, itong tatlong to, uh, actually, uh, ang pinaka-main objective should be to maximize stock price or to maximize shareholder value. Okay? So, later on, discuss pa natin to in greater detail. So, two of you got the correct answer. Let's see. Okay, so meron tayong uh, change ng leadership. Jody is number one now. Lance, Lexi, Sophia, and Ernest. So let's go to the next question. Question number three. Okay, which of the following statements is correct? 30 seconds. So I'm happy almost all of you got it no So bakit mali yung number 1 kasi si CFO ranks above the CEO hindi hindi no It's the CEO who ranks above the CFO kasi si CEO siya yung pinaka highest no individual sa isang organization chief executive officer si CFO uh, under siya, under siya ng C CEO Okay the chairman of the board must also be the CEO not necessarily okay pwede yung uh, chairman of the board is not the CEO uh, number six, uh, letter D is wrong. Si CFO, iba yan sa, ano, iba yan sa controller. No? Iba, yung, iba si CFO kay Chief Accounting Officer. And the Board of Directors is the highest ranking body in a corporation. This is the correct answer. So 22 of you got the correct answer. So let's see the scores. Okay, so si Jody pa rin number one. Uh, highest answer streak of three. Lance, Lexi, Sophia. So let's keep it coming, guys. Let's keep it coming. Next answer. Next question. Question number four. Money markets. What are they for? Okay. Okay. So, 10 got the correct answer. Okay, so finance guys, isang pag-aaralan natin are not only the uh, uh, the uh, institutions, financial institutions, not only the financial instruments, but also financial markets. <laughs> so pag sinabi natin markets guys, uh, we know that a market is a place where, where buying and selling occur. No? So maraming klaseng financial markets. Isa dun yung money market. Ang money market guys, ang pinitrade dyan are short-term securities. So these are securities that last only for ang term niya hanggang 1 year lang. Okay? Yung opposite nito guys, yung counterpart nito are what we call capital markets. Capital markets are markets where we trade securities for for uh, yung mga more than 1 year na ano na mga instruments, no? 
Okay, so sabi dito, foreign currencies, guys, hindi money market ang foreign currency. No? It's, it's a different market. Foreign, foreign exchange market siya. Tapos, consumer automobile loans, hindi, hindi rin money market yan. Common stock is a capital market. Although, nasa stock market siya, but it's still considered as a capital market also. Okay? Now, ito, yung money market natin dito, short-term debt securities. No? Ano yung commercial paper? What, what institutions issue commercial paper? Kasi nga guys, ano ba yung commercial paper? Sino, sino yung mga nag i niyan? Okay, kung pwede i-unmute na lang sarili nyo, ha? Okay, sino? Let's see, may nag-chat dito. Okay, banks, okay. Pwede rin, pwede yung banks. Uh, okay, so, Sophia, pwede yung banks. Uh, Jody, ah, hindi. hindi. Hindi national treasuries. Yung treasury yun. No? Okay, so kapag ano guys, kapag, ang dala, may nag-answer pa. Okay, yan. Tama, no? Tama. So, uh, Lawrence, hindi. Hindi BSP. Uh, corporations. Private corporations. So, private corporations ang nag issue ng commercial paper. Ano ba yung commercial paper? Parang utang yan, no? Utang sila, tapos payable uh, in less than a year or within one year, depende dun sa, ano, sa duration. Tapos, kunyari, si, uh, let's say, si Globe, mag issue ng commercial paper. Parang nang hiram siya, Okay? Ang duration niyan, less than one year, a certain amount. Babayaran niya yan dun sa, ano, dun sa prescribed, prescribed time. Okay? So usually, malalaking corporations ang nag-aano ng commercial papers. How about treasuries? May isang nag-answer sa inyo. Treasuries, sino yun? Si, I think yan, si Jody. So Jody, ang treasuries, yun, national yan. Government, no? So pag na rin, nakita nyo, treasury bill, ha, ang government yung nangutang yan. Kaya if you uh, study the market, makikita nyo na ang mga treasury bills may 30 days. So ibig sabihin, borrowing ng government yan na 30 days lang, tapos binabayarin lang agad. Merong 60 days, 91 days, 180 days, 360, no? 360, 361. So yung, yun yung term ng, ano, ng treasury bill. No? Ang opposite niyan guys, treasury bonds, B-O-N-D-S. Ang treasury bonds issued din by the government pero long term siya. May treasury bond ng 5 years. May 10 years, may 20 years, may 30 years. So, ganun yung tenor, no? Uh, treasury bonds yun. But these are both issued by the government. Ang difference sila, si treasury bill, short term yan, sa money market yan. Okay? So, kung pupunta ka sa money market, makakabili ka ng mga instruments na ganito. No? Kasi remember, a market, guys, is a place, is a meeting of buyers and sellers. Common stock, guys, is a capi sa capital market yan. Okay? So, 10 of you got the correct answer. So, let's see. Next. So, uh, still Jody ang nangunguna. Then Lexi. Tapos, uh, si Jody naka-streak of four na. Okay? So, let's move to the next question. Question number five. Which of the following is an example of a capital market instrument? Very good. It means you were listening a while ago. So, pag common stock, guys, or preferred stock, capital market yan. Commercial paper is wrong kasi money market siya, di ba? Ito yung inunan natin kanina. Pinag-usapan yung CP, yung commercial paper. This is a money market instrument. Treasury bill is also a money market instrument. Guys, ang tinatanong natin dito, capital market. Bankers acceptance or bills of exchange. Ano ba to? Okay, the I think the best way to explain this is, uh, imagine... Nag-issue ako ng check sa inyo. No? <clears throat> so yung check na yan, uh, uh, it's, it's my promise to pay you a certain amount. No? A certain amount. Kunyari, 10 million uh, on a particular day. Kunyari, December 31. Okay? So yung check ba na yan, pwede mong event sa market? Medyo mahirap kasi sino ba naman ako, di ba? Sabi, eh kung magtumalbog yung check na yan, di kawawa naman ako yung, yung bibili, no? Now, unlike kung ang nagbigay niyan, guys, ang nag-issue niyan, banko. What if it was Met Metro Bank? Who issued that? That check, no? Parang check eh, na nasabi niya, I'm going to pay you 10 million, tapos December 31. 
may bibili ba yan kung ibenta sa market? Yes, guys. Yes. And kasi, siyempre, si Metro Bank yung nag eh, kaya si BPI. And usually, pag binibenta yan, uh, discounted. Kasi, ganito, ganito, no? Kunyari, uh, ibibenta, ko si, ibibenta ko sa market to, tapos, kasi, kailangan ko na ng pera ngayon eh. May 10 million ako, uh, receivable from, ano, from Metro Bank, kaso December 31 pa. So, eh, kailangan ko ng pera ngayon, so, benta ko na lang sa itong banker's acceptance na to, or bills of exchange. Uh, makukuha mo yung uh, 10 million sa December 31. Uh, pero, bayaran mo na ako ngayon ng, kunyari, 9 million 950. Okay, so, binibenta ko sa ito at 9 million 950. Uh, bigay mo sa akin yung pera ngayon. Tapos, makukuha mo 10 million sa December 31. Okay, so, ganun yung concept, guys, no? Uh, ng banker's acceptance or bills of exchange. So, banker's acceptance is also a money market instrument. Okay, so, ang capital market lang dito, si common stock. Okay, 15 of you got it, guys. Congratulations, that's very good. So, next, let's see kung ano nangyari. Oops, nagkakaroon na mga changes tayo sa podium natin. Ernest is now number one, followed by Jody, Lexi, Marion, and and uh, Lance. Uh, Marion, meron ka bang ka, ano, kaparehong first name? Uh, next time, guys, i-ano yung family name ha? kasi i-collect ko yung mga scores nyo. No? So, si Pat, highest climber, 11 places. Okay? So, let's go to the next question. Next question is, sixth question, retained earnings are not unspent cash costs. So, 17 of you got the correct answer. Okay, <laughs> correct, no? Ang, ang retained earnings, guys, it's not unspent cash kasi yan yung tinaflow back to the operations of a company. But let me explain, no? Let me quickly explain. Punta lang tayo sa PowerPoint natin. Okay, kasi saan ba galing retained earnings? Saan galing retained earnings? Yung retained earnings, guys, galing yan sa, sa profit ng company, no? See this. Tanggalin ko lang to. Okay. So, it comes from the uh, Tanggala. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ang hirap itong digital pad. Okay, for positioning. Okay, so, meron tayong uh, net income after tax. No? We have net income after tax. Now, ano yung disposition nito ng company? Pwedeng dalawa yan, no? Pwedeng isa, ito. Pwedeng isa. Okay, ano kaya to, guys? Yung R, ano to? Uh, Paki-unmute na lang if you want to answer, guys. What's R? Bigyan pa natin ng uh, next, next, uh, oops. R -E. Ano to, guys? Can be, pwedeng uh, unmute na lang, guys, para, ano, para, uh, para hindi ko na i-open yung chat, no? Revenue, okay, revenue ba to? It's retained earnings, no? So, re retained earnings tong R E na to. So, another, uh, disposition ng net income after tax is what? This is sure. Ano yung D? Binabalik to sa shareholders. Yung D na yan. Deficit. Okay. Ano, hindi. ano pa? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Dennis, thank you guys for your answers. Ha? Thank you, Marion, for, for your suggested answer. Dennis, thank you then. Yeah, it's dividends. no? And by the way, guys, pag umanswer kayo, paki uh, answer please to everybody pa para makikita ng ano. Ng, ng lahat ng answer natin. So, dividends, no? Okay. So, saan na nga pala makikita itong gantong klaseng, ano? Gantong klaseng uh, accounts? Retained earnings, hindi natin makikita yan sa sole proprietorship. Hindi natin makikita yan sa partnership. Makikita lang natin yan sa mga corporations. You can only see them, see this account in corporations. 
So, yung net income after tax, yung net profit after tax, pwede yan ipo-flow back, ibabalik sa operations ng business, or pwede siyang i-distribute as uh, dividends. Isang major role ng finance, guys, is to help determine ano bang gagawin dyan? Mag Mag-distribute ba ng dividends? O ipo-flow back ba sa operations ng company yan? That's a very, very important function ng finance. So, si finance ang may role niyan, no? Finance is at the forefront of... Uh, of computing for that, of determining kung mag-aano ba ako, magbibigay ng dividends or or uh, ipo-flow back sa operations yung ano. Okay, so let's go back guys to our questions dito. So, ito yung answer, no? They have been used to finance the firm's assets. Okay, 17, got it? <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, so may change. Si Jody na naman, Ernest, Lexi, Marian, Sophia. Uh, Nika, highest climber, up by five places. Let's go next. Seventh question, single most important accounting number on the income statement. I'm so happy. Almost all of you got it. 23. Tama, no? Single most important number, net income after tax, net profit after tax. This is the uh, uh, profit after all the expenses has been deducted, kasama yung interest, kasama yung taxes, no? And uh, in layman's term, ang tawag natin dito, yung bottom line, no? Yung, ano ba yung bottom line ng company? So it's the income, it's the profit after all the expenses have been deducted. Yung EBIT guys, earnings yan, kaso hindi pa na-deduct si interest at saka si taxes. Si operating profit din, may mga expenses pa na hindi dyan, hindi pa na na-deduct dyan. Okay? So answer is net income after tax or net profit after tax. Uh, most of you got it, 23. So let's see. Okay, wala pang change ng ano, 7 players have reached answer stick num number 3. Okay, next question. Question number 8. EPS, paano ba kinakalculate yan? Okay, so 12 of you got it. So paano daw kinocompute si EPS? As the name suggests, guys, earnings, no? So that's net income after tax divided by the number of shares. Earnings per share. So earnings for common shares by the num divided by the number of common shares outstanding. Okay, so 12 of you got it. Okay. Tinan natin kung may movement, walang movement, halos ganun pa rin. Uh, Jody is making a comeback with three in a row. Okay, next question. Question number nine. XYZ raise its inventory expecting cash flow sales increase. Okay, so four of you got it. Tina muna natin na number one, guys. Uh, si inventory, guys, walang mangyayari sa depreciation. Kasi ang depreciation, guys, is only affected by fixed assets. No? Fixed assets yung uh, driver ng depreciation. Inventory is a current asset, so walang, walang pakialam si inventory sa depreciation. Okay, uh, hati tayo dito no? sa, ano, sa inflow at saka outflow of cash. If you read the statement, guys, sabi, nag-increase daw yung inventory. And because of this, it's expected. Expected pa lang, no? Hindi pa naman sinasabing na benta ng inventory. So pag nai-increase ang inventory, ibig sabihin bumili ng inventory, naglabas ng pera. Okay, hindi pa nababenta, no? So it's an outflow of cash. Kung sinabing na benta ng inventory, most probably in net inflow of cash 'yon. Kasi siyempre, yung sales naman natin mas malaki kaysa dun sa mas mas uh, uh, mas uh, mahal kaysa dun sa inventory. Kung bumili tayo ng inventory worth 100, syempre yung sales doon, depende doon sa markup, uh, mas malaki sa 100, so mas, mas, mas malaking cash na papasok. Okay? So, 
Ang sabi kasi dito, expecting sales pa lang, no? So, it's an, wala pang benta, so outflow of cash yun. Okay, so four got it. Let's see. Okay, so walang masyadong change dito. Ivan, highest climber, seven places ang inakit ni Ivan. Okay, so it's still Jody, Ernest, Lance, Lexi, and Sophia. Next question, question number 10. Arrange this in its appearance sa balance sheet. na nakakuha, no? Karamihan uh, 12 at saka 11. Tignan natin, guys. How do we, we arrange this? Pa, paano ba ina-arrange guys yung assets sa isang sa isang balance sheet? How is it arranged? Anyone? Paano ba ina-arrange yung assets sa isang business? Sa, sa balance sheet, guys? Ano yung rule doon? What's the operative word? Anong ginagamit, guys? Fixed assets muna. Uh, thank you, uh, Rishan. But it's not fixed assets muna. Ang arrangement is according to letter L, guys. Letter L. The current. Pero, uh, paano? Yung current kasi maraming class yung current. According to letter L. Liability. Uh, not so, Rian. But thank you for your answer. According to letter L. Ang arrangement, guys. Assets tayo, ha? hindi tayo liability. Yeah, it's according to Rishan. Thank you. It's according to liquidity. Okay? Liquidity, guys. Guys, pag oh, nag-answer kayo, paki-ano sa ano, ha? Sa everyone, ha? So that uh, others can see your answer. So the answer, guys, is liquidity. Ano ba yung liquidity? Yung proximity niya sa cash. Kung gano'n siya kalapit na sa cash. So if you take a look at the uh, current assets, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Rishan. So... Uh, how do we arrange this current asset? Siyempre, ang pinakauna dyan si cash. Pagkatapos ni cash, ang susunod guys, si marketable securities. Kasi si marketable securities, short-term investments to, sa money market to eh. No? Marketable securities. So, uh, depende dun sa tenor, pwedeng ma-convert ma into cash ka agad to. So, it's more liquid than receivables. So, number one, si cash, tapos si marketable securities, tapos si receivables, tapos si inventories, tapos si prepayments. Yun ang order dito ng ano ng ng uh, order ng ano ng uh, ng arrangement ng assets natin. So three of you got it, no? Three of you got it. So let's see if there's a change in uh, ano in the ordering here. Okay, si Jody Prey number one, Ernest Lance Ron, Lexi, uh, si William up by six places. Okay, so next. Okay, next question, 11, networking capital. Okay, so seven of you got it, okay? So bakit mali si number, si letter B? And 14 of you answered that. Kasi guys, ang networking capital is to total current assets minus current liabilities. Ang mali dito, ang nakalagay, total assets. So, it's it should only be total current assets. Okay, mali si efficiency kasi guys, hindi siya measure ng asset management. Networking capital does not measure the efficiency or the use of the assets. No? Hindi rin siya solvency. It's not a measure of the capability of the firm to pay its obligations. No? Uh, so the only answer left is liquidity, no? Okay. Pero sana kung tama ito, kung total current assets, mas mas uh, mas uh, exact, mas uh, malapit na definition yung networking capital. Kasi networking capital, as I mentioned a while ago, is uh, total current assets minus total current liabilities. Okay. So the closest answer is it's a firm's uh, measure of a firm's overall liquidity. So seven of you got it. Let's see what happens now. 
Okay, so not so much change. Uh, Dar increased by seven places. Okay, so next question, question number 12. One fixed asset that is not depreciated is... So, ang hindi lang guys ang depreciate is land. Okay? Number one, mali si cash at saka si inventories. Cash and inventories are not fixed assets. Okay? Ang fixed asset lang dito si equipment at saka si land. E kaso si equipment, dinidepreciate yan. Okay? So, the three are wrong. The only answer is 19. Uh, yeah, land. Where 19 of you got it. So that's very good. Most of you got it. Next question. Natin. So, may mga change dito sa ano? Si Jody Prey, number one. Ernest, lands. Lexi and Nika, so see si bridge, highest uh, climb, six places. Okay, next question, guys. Question number 13. Blank flows result from debt and equity financing. <laughs> So, seven of you got it? Okay. Uh, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, guys, yung galaw ng debt at saka ng equity. No? Hindi siya operating, hindi siya operating flows kasi pag operating, ang gumagalaw yung current assets at saka current liabilities. Kunyari, uh, nagbago yung inventory, nagbago yung receivables, nagbago yung trade payables or accounts payable, papasok sa operating flow siya. Ang investing flows naman, di ba, sabi natin, ito yung fixed assets. Nagbago yung fixed assets. Nadagdagan, nabawasan, investing flows yun. Financing, <coughs> long-term debt and equity. <coughs> Yun ang nagbabago, no? So, uh, nagbago na yung debt at saka equity, then it should form, form part of financing. So, the answer is financing. Seven of you got it. Let's see. Okay, so, uh, wala masyadong bago. Uh, Kyrene, highest uh, climber. Okay. So, sandali ah. Tingnan natin. May nag-question yata. Okay. Sige. Uh, nakapasok ka na, Sofia? Pasok na lang ulit, Sofia, ha? Kung na-disconnect ka. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Sige. Ano lang. Pasok lang, no? Ay, o nga pala, no? Sorry, sorry, ha? <clears throat> Kasi kailangan, di ba, yung na... Ito, subukan mo ito, Sophia, yung PIN. 1656648. Uh, try, try mo to enter, ha? <clears throat> okay. Sige. So, uh, okay. Thank you, Sophia, for informing me. Okay? Pero try mo pumasok ulit. Andi dito sa ilalim. Can you see yung number na yan? 1656648. Try entering again. Okay? So, uh... Okay, so next, question number 14, associated with the purchase or sale of fixed assets. So, purchase daw ng fixed asset at business interest, alam natin na investing yan. Okay? Uh, sinabi natin kanina yan. Pag fixed asset yung binibili, investing uh, flow siya. <clears throat> Alright. So, 17 of you got it. That's very good. So, may change ba? Okay, walang change sa ano. Uh, three players uh, just hit answer strict number three. Okay, next. Question number 15. Hindi siya nag-involve uh, ng outlay of cash or expense siya. Anong tawag natin? Okay, 
Okay, so tama, non-cash charges, no? Can you give me an example of a non-cash charge? Expense siya, pero wala naman talagang linalabas sa pera doon. Can you give an example? Depreciation. Depreciation, correct. Thank you. Who's this? Jody po. Jody. Jody, salamat ha. Tama, depreciation, no? Amortization po. Yun. Sino to? Sino to? Miharis po. Miharis. Ano nickname? Marion po. Ma Marion. Yep. Sir Marion, uh, Jody, thank you so much. Tama kayo, no? Uh, examples ng mga non-cash charges are amortization and depreciation. Naka, naka, ano siya, naka treat siya as expense, pero wala naman talagang pera na linalabas. Unlike the other uh, regular expenses, uh, salary expense, utilities expense, transportation expense, supplies expense, etc. Lahat yan involves cash outlay. Depreciation, okay, does not, does not involve a cash outlay. Amortization of patents, amortization of goodwill, these are expense accounts, pero hindi naman siya talaga naglalabas ng pera. Okay? So, 24 of you got it? That's good. So, next. May nagbago ba? Okay, so medyo nagkonting bago. Dar has the highest answer streak of 5. Okay, that's very good. So, next. Question number 16. Five more questions. Gain or sale of equipment. Okay, so wow, almost all of you got it, no? Pag gain or loss ng sale ng equipment, papasok yan sa operating. Pag purchase ng equipment, papasok yan sa investing. Okay, so yun ang difference, no? Kung binenta yung equipment, uh, papasok yan, yung gain or loss doon, doon papasok sa, sa ano mismo, sa operating uh, uh, flows. Okay, so 20 got it. Let's see kung may mga change dito sa, ano, sa leadership. Wala pa rin, no? Reanyo Migs is back in the game three in a row. Okay, next. Question number 17. Four more questions. Increase in pre-treatment. Ang prepayment, guys, is an asset, di ba? Ano ba yung prepayment? These are advance payment. Nyare, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance. So it's a, a payment done in advance before the uh, that asset is used. No? Nyare, prepaid uh, supplies. Hindi pa na gagastos, hindi pa na gagamit. So, pag nag-increase yung prepayments, ibig sabihin, guys, nag-increase yung down, yung pag natin, pag advance payment, no? So, it's a use of cash. So, number 10, hindi siya financing, no? Kasi prepayment is a current asset. Okay? So, it's not financing. Prepayment, prepaid are part of operating, no? So, use of cash kasi, tinaasan natin prepayment, tinaasan yung pag, uh, ano ng uh, advance payment. Alright? So, next question. May nagbago ba? Okay. Walang nagbago. Okay. Next question. Three more questions. Question number 18. Six of you got it? Okay. Tandaan natin guys, pag nag-issue ng preferred stock, financing yan. No? Pag sinabi natin, a company issued preferred stock, a company issued common stock, kumukuha siya ng panibagong investors in the form of uh, preferred or in the form of common. So pag kumukuha siya ng bagong investors, nakakatanggap siya ng cash. So it's a source of cash. Anong klaseng activity? Equity yan, di ba? Preferred stock, common stock. So it will form part of financing. Okay, so six of you got it? Okay, so let's see kung may nangyari, kung may nag, uh, no, gumalaw. Okay, walang gumalaw. Lindsay has the highest answer streak of three. 
Okay, so last two questions. Question number 19. Answer is, most of you got it correct, secondary market transaction. Okay, so in the course of this subject, as I, said, as I mentioned a while ago, we'll take a look at the different markets that are involved in financial activities. Kasama dun yung mentioned ko kanina, money market and capital markets, stock market, okay? So, Forex, okay, so meron din tayong tinatawag ng primary market at saka secondary market. Okay, we'll, we're going to study that in greater detail as we go along, okay? So, 21 of you got it? Okay, so, last question. Last question. Madaling madali lang to, guys. Okay, so, uh, uh, so many of you got it. It's a statement of changes in shareholders' equity. So, dito natin makikita, guys, kung ilan yung bagong shares na in-issue. Hindi, hindi sa balance sheet, hindi sa income statement, hindi sa cash flow. Alright, so that ends our uh, activity for today. Tingnan natin. So, let's see the podium finishes. Congratulations. 11 out of 20 for an answer. Lance, congratulations. 12 out of 20 is Ernest. And 14 out of 20, C. Congratulations, Jody. Okay? So I'll collect your scores, guys. You propose to the canvas document. So my runners up tayo. Congratulations. Okay, I'll post the, uh, the, uh, your points to the marks. No? Okay. Okay, so let me close this. And let's go now to... Let's now go back to our... Uh, session guys so let me let me just uh, present our powerpoint slide okay so very quick uh, quick high information lang guys ano ba yung objective natin dito sa module 1 we would like to understand what's the role of financial management and who are the different individuals involved in in the uh, function of finance we're also going to look at the different institutions, uh, instruments, and financial markets. Yung iba, tininan natin dito. A while ago, we looked at different instruments. Ano ba yung mga instruments na nakita na natin kanina? Meron tayong commercial paper. Instrument yun. It's a security. Meron din tayong uh, treasury bills, treasury bonds, bankers acceptance or bills of exchange, stock, common stock, preferred stock, Okay, ito yung mga instruments na uh, nakita natin kanina and we'll uh, uh, learn more uh, by next week. And then, yung financial markets, may, may mga na ano na rin tayo kanina, guys. May nakita na tayo, money market, capital markets, we have uh, primary market, secondary market, okay. Uh, we have, uh, meron tayong futures market, foreign exchange market, stock market. So, these are the different markets that are involved in as far as uh, finance is concerned. And then uh, we'll go into a deeper study of ano ba mga financial institutions and what services do they provide. Tapos ano ba mga iba't ibang classing instruments which I mentioned a while ago. And then lastly, we're going to take a look at the markets. Uh, oops. Mali. Na end ko. Tignan natin guys yung, uh, yung markets, no? Oops. Yan. Dito yung flow of funds through the market. Okay? So sa market guys, dun po nga pasok lumalabas yung mga, yung mga funds natin. Okay? So uh, back to my question, what's the main objective of any business organization? A while ago, sabi natin kanina na, dali ha, may nag-chat yata. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, kanina pa yata ito, ano yung amortization. Okay, sorry. Okay, I, we said a while ago, guys, that uh, we mentioned three objectives a while ago. Yung isang objective, sinabi natin, uh, profit maximization. Profit maximization. Okay, we also mentioned that an objective, a cost minimization. Mini minimization. Okay, so pwede rin daw uh, customer satisfaction. Okay, now I'm not saying that these are these are not important. On the contrary, importante, importante tong profit maximization, cost minimization, at saka customer satisfaction. My question is, <clears throat> uh, ano ba yung main objective? Now, there are reasons why this cannot be main ob the main objective of an organization. Uh, they are important objectives, but they should not be the main objective on, of an organization. So, tingnan natin guys, uh, kung ano ba talaga dapat, the main objective should be to maximize shareholder value or to maximize what we call the, the stock price. Okay? The stock price. Okay? Uh, for example, dati nung nag-IPO si Jollibee, murang-mura lang yan. Uh, I, I was able to enter the market, siguro magano, yang, magano yata nabili ko kay Jollibee nun. 15, 20 pesos, I think. No? Tapos, two years ago, around two years ago, uh, tumaas yung price ni Jollibee, naging 300 plus na, 300 pesos plus. So that's what we call maximization of shareholder value. So I, as an investor, am very happy kasi yung initial investment ko na mga 20 pesos per share, ngayon ang value niya, ang intrinsic value niya, niya 300 pesos plus. Uh, you cannot earn that, guys, in a savings account. You cannot earn that in any other, uh, in other, siguro, ma-earn ma, ma lang yan, siguro sa isang business mismo, no, sa entrepreneurship. But if you take a look at other, other, uh, let's say avenues, other instruments, baka mahirapan tayo, no? So, importante guys, ang isang objective ng, isang main objective ng organization should be uh, maximize the stock price, maximize shareholder value. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean guys na hindi importante yung ano, yung profit maximization. Importante ba yung, satis yung customer satisfaction? Yes, of course, it's, it's important. <coughs> There are, among other things, may mga six things na pwede ibigay yung customer satisfaction. <laughs> Number one, increase sales kasi repeat buyers yan eh. Satisfied customers could be loyal customers. Keep on buying. Keep on patronizing the product of a firm. No? Kaya repeat buyers sila. And also, one advantage of uh, satisfied customers is that they are less sensitive to price uh, uh, price, uh, hindi, sila, ano, hindi sila price sensitive. Ibig sabihin, kung tumataas yung price ng service or product, uh, hindi, hindi sila mawawala no, sa, sa, sa company. Loyal pa rin sila. <clears throat> Unlike guys, kung, uh, uh, kung hindi loyal yan, tapos kung price sensitive, isang konting taas ng price, lilipat na sa kabilang bahay. No? Sa competitor. So there are customers that are price sensitive but usually loyal customers are not price sensitive okay especially kung reasonable naman talaga yung pagtaas so they bring in loyalty loyalty in crisis whatever happens guys uh, tuloy-tuloy pa rin sila na pinapatronize sila yung company now this is also very important word of mouth free advertising yan in this age of social media okay importante yung word of mouth pag maganda yung company pag talagang inaalagaan yung customers they create ripples and ripples and ripples of word of mouth advertising. They no, don't need to buy, to advertise actually. Of course, meron pa rin, pero nami-minimize yun yung advertising cost. Kasi nga, yung mga customers mismo, lalo yung talaga mga loyal, sila na mismo yung nagdadala pa ng mga, nagiging influencer sila, sila pa nagdadala ng mga bagong, ano, bagong customers ng, ng company. And they're not usually, they're not uh, asking uh, money for that. No? Kasi nga, uh, nag-benefit sila dun sa firm, nasayaan sila sa service, naging loyal sila, and they keep on, they invite people also to patronize the product. So that's one, that's what we call word of mouth. No? <clears throat> Tapos meron din tayong tinatawag na ito. No? Yung, this is called cross-selling. Anong cross-selling? 
kunyari, yung loyal customers mo, bumibili ng product A. E meron din kayo mga product XYZ. So, pwede nyo rin i-present sa ano yun, sa loyal customers yun. And chances are, they, they uh, could also patronize <coughs> yung, yung ibang products, no? <coughs> which we call cross-selling. <coughs> Tapos pag may innovation yung company, sila yung mga unang-unang ano, unang-unang bibili niyan. So, satisfied customers, loyal customers provide profits, they provide growth which stabilizes corporate performance. Yun ang kagandahan ng customer satisfaction. But should that be the main objective of a business entity? Hindi pa rin. Importante objective yan. And it should be subsumed dun sa main objective which is to maximize shareholder value. Okay? Now, let's pause for a while. <clears throat> can you give me an example of a company that we can say, uh, we can say we, we can be in all agreement that this company has really, because of its processes, because of its, uh, of what they do, uh, it has uh, gained really loyal uh, customer following. Um, sir, uh, yes. one example would be Apple. Uh, sino to? Sino to? Benzuela po. Uh, anong first name? Rian. Rian, Rian. Okay, Rian. Uh, thank you, Rian. Sige. Uh, Apple daw. Sige. Rian, bakit Apple? Uh, as you can see po, uh, there has been a great division, especially with Apple users. Okay. And in which mostly people who are uh, used to the operating system only use it. But therefore, loyalty is created. Okay. But even if the price is high, they still buy the Apple products po. Yes. Oh. Next po, uh, if it, they, uh, when they do new product innovations, po, for example, launching a new Mac or something, uh, it gains popularity immediately. Po. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it also provides this one-stop shopping, just like you've mentioned, po, yeah. wherein mm -hmm. they can also use other Apple products as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very good example. Apple, guys, it, uh, I, I guess many of you are really loyal Apple users. So, pag nagkaroon na ng bagong, ano yan, bagong model, uh, chances are you might, you might uh, buy that model. No? <laughs> but then again, guys, yung, ano, ha, yung pinapag-usapan natin, ha, prudence in uh, buying. Kung may app, Apple 11 I, Pro Max naman kayo, baka hindi nyo pa kailangan ng Apple 12. So, medyo isip-isipin din natin yan. But you're, you're correct. No? Uh, Apple really elicits, no? elicits a good customer uh, following, loyal customers. Number one, yung quality of product nila. Ang galing. Customer service is also very good. Tapos, they keep on innovating, updating. Tapos, yung alagi nila ina-update, kunyari, yung OS nila, operating system. Okay, so, this enhances yung, yung utility ng, ng uh, hardware nila, yung, yung cellphone. So, talaga wala tayong masasabi sa ganda ng produkto ng Apple sa galing ng, ano, galing ng business model nila. Very good, really remarkable, admirable. Okay, so uh, thank you. Sino yung umanser? Nako, nakalimutan ko agad. First name ng umanser? Rian po. Rian, Rian, sorry ah. Pasensya okay. na guys, minsan nag... Uh, minsan nag... Uh, ano, nung, yung short-term memory biglang nawawala. So Rian, thank you so much. That's a good answer. Okay, any other example guys of a company that has really gained uh, so much popularity because of its excellent customer service, excellent product, and this has resulted into a really great customer satisfaction. Let's have one more example. Yes, Lexi, yes, you raise your hand. Sir, is that correct for Starbucks? Yeah, oh, yeah, simply. Oh, Starbucks, bucket. Bucket yung Starbucks. Um, I think they're really popular. Just saying, like, I don't know about their. They keep experimenting for new drinks, po. Mm -hmm. and um, they have good uh, what do you call this? Prang they have good image, po. Yes. So worldwide. Oh. Correct. Global, global brand yun, ano? <coughs> By the way, next meeting, guys, titingnan natin yung mga brands na to. We're going to look at these brands and see uh, can this brands be valued. So next meeting, titingnan natin yan. Uh, but uh, tama si Lexi, sabi niya na ano eh, Starbucks is a very popular brand and it's known for great customer service, great, great customer product. And so what's the result of that, guys? May repeat buyers tayo. Okay, and then may mga promotion nga sila, di ba yung mga stickers, no? And so many would want, really want the uh, 
Iba yung mga notebooks nila, no? So, nag-i-increase din naman ang price ng Starbucks pero bakit pa rin ano, bakit ando doon pa rin yung mga loyal customers? Okay, kasi na na, na ano nila yung ano yung niche nila eh. Kung sino talaga yung uh, kung sino talaga yung yung niche nila na, sa market, no? And then uh, word of mouth then, of course. So they they have produced loyal customers and it has impacted on their profits and then their uh, corporate growth, no? Yung corporate performance nila. So, let's summarize that, no? Thank you for those examples. So, sabi natin, customer satisfaction is one of the strongest indicators of customer loyalty. And as I mentioned a while ago, it leads to repurchase by, again, no? cross-selling. Yung other products, no? pwede natin ibenta dun sa mga existing customer base. Reducing price sensitivity and the very powerful uh, positive word of mouth. Di ba? di ba yung word of mouth, it can, it can be a two-pronged. Eh? Pwede positive yan, pwede negative. Remember yung Jollibee, di ba? Yung recently, yung may chicken joy ka na, may tuwalya ka pa. No? It, it, really, uh, uh, it was really a big, big blow to Jollibee din. No? <clears throat> Alright, so customer satisfaction is important. However, guys, sabi ko nga, ang, hindi natin pinag-uusapan yung, uh, yung objective. We're looking at the main objective. Okay? Customer satisfaction should, should be subsumed under that main objective, which is to maximize shareholder value okay so yung profit maximization customer satisfaction cost minimization they're all related no? they they're all uh, related to each other <clears throat> so let's at this point let's compare no? ano bang ano bang difference ni profit maximization how does it affect for example planning duration ang problema kasi guys kapag profit maximization the focus is more on cutting on expenses no Kasi how do you increase profit? You can increase profit by increasing sales or also minimizing cost. Kaya ngayon profit maximization at saka cost minimization uh, mag, magkapatid yan. Eh, no? Ang problema guys, kung ganun masyado yung focus, okay, it, it's possible that the, uh, that the uh, long-term growth could be sacrificed at the altar of short-term benefits. Bakit? Kasi may pressure yung management na pag profit maximization, kailangan yung bottom line, talagang itaas natin yan. And what happens is that because of this of this uh, pressure on them to increase the bottom line, they, uh, lalo yung mga discretionary expenditures o sinabing discretionary, at their level pwede nalang uh, tanggalin yun, uh, a company might be tempted to cut back on these dis dis discretionary expenditures. Ano yung mga example nito? <clears throat> Ito, I, I listed it down here. Advertising. Research. Maintenance. Training, guys. These are what we, we may call expenses. Pero, taken, uh, taken on another light, these are investments. No? Investments. And the problem with profit maximization is that these discretionary expenditures are treated as expenditures. And kung object natin is to increase profit maximization, increase the profit, syempre, costs have to go down. <clears throat> and some costs that are very important <coughs> might be sacrificed at the altar of profitability. <coughs> so it's not, it's not surprising that may pressure yung management na itaas yung profit. So anong gagawin? Tanggalin na lang muna natin yung training. Wala muna ng training, training ngayon. No? Kasi expansion eh. Malaking uh, matitipid natin kung hindi muna natin, hindi tayo mag-train muna ng mga tao. Tapos, ang mangyayari, tataas yung profit. Tataas yung profit, yes. Pero anong potential effect nun? It might, it might sacrifice or, or it might affect. <clears throat> and usually it does, no? Yung long-term long, long performance ng, ano, ng, uh, ng, ng company. Okay. Case in point, maraming gantong cases, guys, na Okay, may mga frontliners, may mga taga-sagot taga ng phone. Tapos you have an irate customer here, galit na galit. Pinagmumura yung ano, yung uh, yung uh, frontliner, yung yung staff ng ano. Eh si staff hindi trained, hindi marunong kung paano sasagutin yung ganyan. Eh minura din niya. Kala mo, komo tano ka lang, ganyan ganyan ganyan. Pinagmumura-mura, no? So what happens, guys? <laughs> well, you know what most probably what will happen? Ibu word of mouth yan, tapos kaya ang babastos daw ng mga ano, ng mga ganyan. So, bad, bad publicity yan for the company. 
And besides, you lost a customer. Unlike yung mga companies, guys, na fully trained talaga yung mga ano nila, lalo yung mga frontliners. They are really taught how to deal with the pressure customers like this. And since they have revisited, they have visited that scenario, alam nila kung paano sagot. And they're able to turn anger into appreciation. So, soft answer eh. And trained yung, ano, yung mga staff na kung paano sasagutin yung mga ganyan. Uh, rule number one, wag, wag sasabayan yung galit ng galit. No? Let, let the customer uh, uh, spew out his anger. <clears throat> kahit na minumura yung ano, kahit na minumura siya, Yes, yes, guys. Kasi do not take take things personally. No? Yun ang training sa mga ganyan. Do not take things personally. It's not about you. It's about the customer. That customer might be having a bad day. O talagang siguro reasonable naman talaga yung, ano niya, yung complaint niya. Talagang siguro nagkamali yung company. So do not take things personally kung, kung binabadmouth ka na. It was not you. no? It was not you. So ganyan yung training, guys, sa mga frontliners. And that can be, that can be, guys, uh, reinforced really when when companies invest in things like that. So, sabi ko nga kanina, ang problema ng ibang companies, they're so hooked up, they're so passionate about really uh, maximizing profit that they tend to forget that how they do it is critical. Kasi sabi ko nga, diba, there's a great temptation to really cut back on expenses, even very, very important quote-unquote expenses, which could have been treated as investments. Research, guys, research. Huwag na tayong mag-research kasi ibabayaran lang natin yung research output na yan para ma ma maintindihan yung market. Allah, guys, importante-importante yung research sa business. Especially marketing research para malaman natin kung ano yung demographics ng mga possible na customers. Kasi kunyari may research, alam mo kung paano ka magta-target ng kunyari, advertisement. Alam mo kung paano ka mag-promotion. Uh, Kasi kung walang research, guys, uh, sige, one, 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 uh, one type of adver advertisement fits all. Hindi pa pwedeng ganun. No? Hindi magiging targeted yan na, ano, na, na use of resources para ma-advertise. Ma okay, so, tinalo natin yung sinabi ni uh, <coughs> Yvette dito. Uh, okay, so may, ano, may comment si... Ano, si Si, uh, si Venice. Oh, thank you, Venice, for this. Okay, pero ang sinasabi ni Venice, uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, let me summarize. Okay, so you're, you're correct, no? You're correct. Ang sinasabi ni Venice, yung, uh, sometimes companies will use substandard materials. Okay, that's very true. Marami mga companies na ang, ano, ang, ang objective nila, basta tumaas yung profit. Sige, kahit na ang gamitin natin yung mga subst substandard na raw materials. So, ano nangyayari? You have products that are not of quality. Okay? So, although, although siguro sa, sa, sa year na yon tataas yung profit kasi nag-cut back dun sa quality ng, ng materials, pero ano madidevelop? Mga hilaw na customers. Okay? Hindi siya makakadevelop ng mga loyal customers. Kasi ang pag-alam ng customer na na hindi maganda yung quality hindi maganda yung quality ng product then hindi hindi magpapatronize yan hindi magpapatronize ng ano ng uh, ng ng product na that, ng company that's well said tama yun ano so this is the problem if we just focus on profit maximization without really really looking at the implications ng long term eh ang wealth maximization guys hindi ganoon ang tingin ang tinitingnan natin yung stock price Paano natin maaari yung stock price? And that, hindi, hindi overnight na tataas yung stock price, guys. It's a long-term planning. Long-term planning siya. So, titignan natin lahat ng functions ng management, no? ng business. HR, yung talent management. Are we doing well in treating our, uh, our HR, no? our, our employees, yung mga internal customers natin? Uh, are we treating them well? Ito ang problema guys, yung tinatawag natin. Have you heard of this ano, concept? Yung leaky bucket theory. No? Leaky. Sulat ko ha. Leak. Leaky bucket theory. Okay, ano yung leaky bucket theory? <clears throat> okay, ito yung problema minsan ng ang focus ng profit maximization. So you have a bucket here. Okay. Uh, Saan na yung ano ko? 
Hindi pa adjust tong ano pa yung digital pad. I'm sorry ah, for the drawing. You have a pail here, bucket, no? May bucket ka diyan. Tapos pasok ka ng pasok ng ano, we try to put in put in really many customers as possible. And then yung pala, meron meron ka palang butas dito, no? Lick. So mas malaki pa yung na, yung bawas ng ano kaysa sa sa pagpasok. No wonder, nagtataka ka bakit kaya hindi umuusa yung yung growth ng company no so that's the leaky bucket theory may mga may mga may mga butas sa hindi mo pinaplug okay if you have the same amount uh, so thank you nga pala kay ano ano Venice thank you so much for that very very good share yung sa, sa mga substandard materials no uh, ang delikado po niyan kung kung may issue sa health no diba we know of products that uh, may mga issue pala sa sa health yung ano yung yung uh, nauuso yan dati di ba yung uh, have you heard of the magic sugar yung magic sugar yung nilalagay sa mga ano sa mga patamis o palamig na yung pala carcinogenic siya nakakalason okay that, those are issues may mga ethical issues yan guys and finance laging laging tinatakal to mga ethical issues should so should we should we give substandard products para ano para kumita tayo <clears throat> pero ang price to pay naman noon yung mako-compromise yung health ng mga customers natin. So these things are very important, no? Napaka napakadami nang pwedeng tingnan dito sa aspect na to, no? If you lose the same amount of customers, sabi ni ano ni uh, Micah, no? You always uh, look for new ones to compensate. Yes, correct, no? So para never ending yan. Ano ka lang ng ano, spend ka ng spend in order to take in more customers. Tapos nababawasan din pala minsan mas malakas pa yung outflow na kaysa inflow. So although your your di ba mas maganda kung naka-plug yung ano yun, whatever that vision is, yung plug yung hole na yun, para talagang lumaki yung ano, lumaki yung yung business, no? Okay, pero back to what we were discussing, yun ang problema guys ng profit maximization, no? Ang focus lang talaga yung ano, yung yung uh, yung profit oriented masyado. Again guys, kina-qualify ko to, importante yung profit, but not sacrificing long term goals no ng business uh, and one of which is to maximize shareholder value <clears throat> we should never sacrifice yung profit uh, goals natin at the altar of long term goals of shareholder value maximization they should work together no they should work together okay isa pa isa pang concern okay so Uh, may may exam may example pa ba kayo dito guys? Kunyari nagka-cutback dun sa mga this this uh, discretionary expenditures. Uh, sa research, sa maintenance, maintenance din guys. Okay, tingnan niyo guys 'yung nangyari sa LRT. <clears throat> 'Di ba? Ano nangyari sa LRT natin, 'yung LRT1? Okay, the LRT1 guys is a very very vital uh, transportation uh, transportation hub natin. Okay, nung wala pa 'yung LRT uh, yung LRT1 pa lang noong time pa ni Marcos sa 1970s pa yan. Okay, imagine, 45, tayo yung unang nagka-LRT sa Asia. Okay, discounting Japan yata at saka ano, uh, Japan and Korea. I think, basta sa, sa Southeast Asia, number one tayo. Tayong una. But decay over time, kung i-compare nyo guys, if you've been to, for example, Singapore, uh, Hong Kong, di ba? Grabe yung ano nila, yung MRT nila, di ba? Grabe yung... Uh, transport transportation system nila no okay so may ibang comments dito no so let me just uh, finish what i'm saying and then i'll get back to your comments no sorry guys ha so sinasabi natin dito yung maintenance no okay ano nangyari nung uh, ano yung uh, yung yung mga past ano no yung yung LRT di ba hindi maintain bakit most probably nagka-cutback na expansion tapos nag-hire pa ng uh, third party na hindi naman talaga yun ang expertise nun. Uh, something must have happened here. May siguro corruption or or these things. No? Uh, nakakalungkot. No? Uh, buti nga ngayon, medyo ano na eh, medyo naayos-ayos na. And uh, alam naman natin na napaka-importante ng LRT sa ano natin, sa sa transport system natin. No? And that's because of maintenance and cutting corners. No? Yan ang nagiging problema kasi ang pinupokus, profit maximization. Okay, so let me read. May mga comments dito, no? Okay. And thank you guys for your comments. I really appreciate these comments. 
Okay, so tinan nga natin. Alright, kasi I asked for examples, ano? Okay, so... Okay, so... Uh, sabi ni Lexi, yung Shopee daw. Okay, bakit kaya, Lexi, business sellers po, like the ones in Shopee, are examples of profit maximization. Would you like to share, Lex, Lexi, bakit ano? Bakit uh, profit maximization? Um, hello. So, um, I think this is one of the examples po. Kasi I think they don't really care about the quality that they're giving. Not mm -hmm. all, but okay. most of uh, them are guaranteeing the lowest or the cheapest price. But the quality is also bad or low quality for its price. Yeah, oh. So, uh, perhaps then, perhaps, iba yung uh, pupunta ito sa marketing. Ano ba yung tina-target nila? No? So definitely, kung bad quality yan, hindi nila tina-target yung mga, ano, yung mga, let's say, yung mga high-end, definitely. And uh, unfortunately, minsan, nagkaka-market sa ganyan. No? So okay lang na, ano, na very uh, cheap yung price, tapos yung quality niya, okay lang na, ano, na uh, total, sige, papalit-palitan ko na lang yan. Pag, ano, eh, no? So it really depends then on the market. But that's true, no? That's true. Yung may mga companies na uh, substandard yung product, no? pero di ba mas maganda sana kung maganda yung product tapos low low uh, lower price siya di ba that will really uh, get more repeat customers no so thank you Lexi for that uh, Sophia ano yung question na to question ba Sophia what happened do uh, Sophia Okay, mukhang, uh, okay, so sinabi din ni Lexi uh, related to Shopee. Okay, si si ano naman si si Venice, yung maglev, yung Russian, no, magnetic levitated train. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> oh, how I wish na may maglev tayo dito, no? Grabe siguro from from uh, Apari papunta ng papunta ng uh, Davao, di ba? Uh, wow, kung may maglev tayo, no? Uh, that will be the day, no? yung mga yung mga bullet trains ng uh, Japan, ng China, and even even some Southeast Asian countries, no? <clears throat> Although I'm happy now kasi medyo dinidevelop na rin yung train system natin, pero wala pa tayong talagang yung ganung train system. 'Di ba ang ganda lang kung connected talaga from north to south? Okay? <clears throat> connected from north to south. Siguro kung naging ano tayo yung colony for some time ng Europe, uh, magiging iba, no? Siguro yung transport transportation system natin. Pero hindi rin kasi guys, more than 300 years tayo sa Spain eh. Wala naman nangyari dun sa uh, dun sa transportation system. Although Spain is in Europe, tapos uh, ano din naman yung train system sa generally guys, sa Europe, ang ganda ng train system. So maybe some of you have already uh, ridden the, ano, the uh, train system ng Europe. Kunyari, magbe-breakfast ako, galing ako ng Paris, France, mag-breakfast tayo sa, ano, sa London. Ganun lang, trend lang. Ganun-ganun <laughs> lang. Uh, very efficient, very fast. Ang ganda lang, no? Ang ganda lang. And alam naman natin na moving people, transportation is a key element to economic development. Okay, so sabi ni Venice, maglev. Okay, so Sophia, ay ah, yung LRT. Okay, sabi niya, nasa meet. Okay, sige. It's okay lang. It's okay lang. So Sophia was all about yung LRT. Buti nga nga yung guys, di ba? Uh, buti nga ngayon yung LRT natin uh, medyo nag-improve na because of the build, build, build. I'm looking forward to, for those of you living near the Antipolo area, pag na ano na yung na-complete na -complete na yan to, ano, to Antipolo, <clears throat> di ba ang laking tulong yan? So you can, if you're living there, uh, tapos nag-face to face na yung mga classes natin, pwedeng from uh, Antipolo, pupunta ka ng ano, ng uh, baba ka siguro ng ano, ng uh, bababa ka ng Doroto y Jose. Tapos sa Lasal na. Uh, you can be at Lasal in maybe 45 minutes. No? Kasi kung magko-commute kayo o kaya mag-private car kayo, ala, aabutin kayo ng 2 hours, 2 hours to 3 hours just to go from Antipolo to Lasal. No? Okay, so, uh, okay, so side on natin yun, side, side discussion. But that's good, guys. That's good. Okay, let me end in this. Meron pa tayong mga uh, 10 minutes. No? So, I want to discuss this. <coughs> I think dito tayo matatapos. No? Okay. <coughs> ang problema guys ang profit maximization is that 
ma, there's a big temptation to just gloss over yung hedging. Ano ba yung hedging? Hedging, guys, are, uh, let's say, tools that will help the organization uh, meet, uh, face its risk or lessen its risk. So if this is a firm, guys, if this is a firm, alam naman natin na ang firm, this is exposed to several types of risk. Okay, may mga, mga iba, ibang risk yan na exposed ang company. For example, meron tayong economic risk. Pag sinabi economic risk, inflation. Okay? Meron tayong market risk. Market risk is the risk that your product will not be patronized by by the uh, customers. May bagong product ka, naging failure kasi, hindi pinansin. Ano pa? Merong interest rate risk. Okay? Nangutang ka ng malaking amount. Okay, yung interest rate na yan, interest rate risk, guys, pwedeng tumaas yung interest rate na yan. Okay, depende dun sa market. Meron din yung FX, foreign currency risk. Exporter ka or importer ka ng goods. Okay? So yung raw materials mo galing abroad, eh, nagde-depreciate yung peso. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung dollar, uh, to the, the dollar is strengthening. So kunyari, kung dati 50 pesos to so 1 dollar, Ngayon, naging 60 pesos to 1 dollar. So, anong impact yan sa mga in importers? Tumataas yung goods ng pagbili nila. No? Kasi mas konting, mas, ano, mas uh, maraming pesos ang kailangan nila para bumili ng same amount of goods. Okay? Pag exporter ka, okay lang. Kasi tumataas yung, pwede tumataas yung revenue because of the uh, because of the weakening of the peso. Kaya nga, balik tayo yung gusto ng mga yan eh, no? Si importer gusto, nagsistrengthen yung peso. Si exporter naman gusto, nag-weaken uh, yung peso. Pag importer-exporter ka, nasa ano ka lang, balance ka lang. No? Kung tumaas, affected, kung nag-strengthen yung peso, okay, affected yung, ano, affected yung export mo, pero affected positively naman yung importation mo. So, so ganun lang. So, how does a company uh, mitigate against risk like this? So, importante yung ano, yung risk mitigation. No? Kasi pag wealth maximization, pinofocus din dito. Kasi sabi nga natin, long term yung tingin ng ano eh, wealth maximization. So let's have a quick example of that. No? Uh, I think na dito tayo matatapos. So, uh, gamit lang tayo ng isang slide. No? I just insert a new slide. Layout ko na lang na walang laman. Okay, so let's let's envision. Andale, may nagchat na. Okay. Okay, profit maximization for risk management. Okay, so thank you for that question. Kasi sabi nga natin, di ba? Uh, pag pag uh, profit maximization, kasi as much as possible, magkakat ka ng mga expenses. Okay, kung anong pwede magkat back na expense. Sige, cut lang ng cut. Kasi nga, ganun yung dogged lawyer, dogged, ano may, parang uh, laser-like focus sa talagang dun ka lang nakatingin. And chances are, uh, you will, you will uh, try to uh, to put aside other ano, other expenses that might be critical for the company, not necessarily ngayon, but in the future. An example of that will be investing in uh, risk mitigation tools, no? risk mitigation investments. Okay, I'll give an example. Ah. So, uh, ang process na yun, ang tawag doon hedging. Imagine a, uh, yung bakod, a yard. So, hinehedge natin yung company against potential potential risks. No? Okay, example, yung, yung price risk. Okay, ano ba yung price risk? Price risk is the risk that, that the company face that its, in, that its raw, raw material components, uh, yung prices noon, masyadong tataas. No? Okay, let me give you to you an example. And kapag profit maximization ka kasi, baka hindi mo masyadong pinapansin yan. Okay? So okay lang sa yung tumataas ang pricing. Huwag, huwag natin pansinin yan. Talagang ganyan eh, no? Talagang ganyan. That's a problem if you do not also consider risk mitigation. Kasi pag risk mitigation, may gastos yan. Okay? So pag ang focus natin profit maximization lang, we might tend to gloss over, hindi masyadong pansinin na, yung risk mitigation. Why? Kasi it might entail additional cost. Okay, but let me illustrate that. No? Okay, thank you for that question. 
So, let me illustrate that. Okay. Dala. Okay. Dito tayo. Increase ko to. Okay. So, suppose guys, we're a company that make, make use of oil as our raw material. So, ito tayo si company natin. And ang raw material natin is okay. okay. So, these are barrels of oil. Kunyari, no? Oil to. Okay. I just checked this morning kung magkano yung Brent. Brent crude oil, it's $75 per barrel. Okay. So, ito yung raw materials natin. Asset natin to. Kailangan, kailangan guys, minamanage natin to. Kasi finance requires that we manage our assets. Pag hindi natin minamanage to, delikado to. Kasi ang oil guys, are, is very volatile. Konting ano lang, mga effects sa weather, effects sa may, may uh, kaguluhan sa Middle East, nababago talaga yung price. <clears throat> so, how do we manage that? So let's assume that that's our main material and ang inventory natin mauubos na. So kailangan natin by by uh, December 31, no? So today is July 1. Okay, ang hirap sulatan to. July 1. This is December 31. By December 31, kailangan natin ng 1 million dar 1 million barrels, no? 1 million barrels of oil. Okay. So anong gagawin? Okay, kung hindi ka aware sa risk mitigation, okay? Ang mayayari, sige lang. Wala kang risk mitigation, wala kang hedging. So pagdating ng December 31, ano nangyari? The price at the spot market became 200. So bibili na tayo sa spot market. Ano? Kailangan natin ng oil by December 31, 1 million barrels. So do natin bibili sa spot market. Pag sinabing spot market, on the spot, i-deliver. No? Tapos on the spot, babayaran mo. Yun ang spot market. <clears throat> so what happened? What happens guys? $75 yung uh, uh, at that time, sabi natin $75 to $80 yung cost. Uh, December 31, $200 na. Hindi tayo nag-hedge. Ano mangyayari? Hero ka o villain ka? Villain ka, di ba? Guys, kasi hindi mo pinaprotectan yung company na dun sa fluctuation ng price ng oil. So, siguro, mag-resign ka na, no? Kasi baka uh, ano yung ka, i-quiz ka ng mga uh, board of Directors, bakit naging ganun? Bakit wala tayong ginawang ano? Bakit wala tayong ginawang strategy para malang makusun yung impact ng volatility ng price ng oil? Kasi bakit dapat sana? Anong ginawa sana? Dapat guys, pwede sanang, pwede sanang nag-engage sa what we call derivatives. No? What are derivatives? These are financial instruments okay, the value of which is dependent on underlying asset. No? The price of the underlying asset. Okay, so pwede hindi nyo pa maintindihan to guys ngayon yung, yung definition niyan. But I encourage you to look at uh, this. No? I-research lang kung ano ba yung derivatives. Examples yan are forwards, forwards, and then meron tayong mga futures, meron tayong mga swaps, meron tayong mga options. So quickly guys, magta-time na. No? Quickly, ano to guys? Kung sana marunong yung ano yung finance, sana nag-engage siya sana sa futures. Ano yung futures? <clears throat> it's a contract guys to pay an I to buy an item in the future. Kaya nga futures ang, ang ano sa kanya. So kanya rin pumunta sa sa futures market tapos pwede makabili doon ng oil at $78 per barrel delivery December 31, no? Okay, 1 million, 1 million barrels. So if you engage in that activity, hinedge mo yung company. Pagdating ng December 31, Kunyari, ang price 200 na. Hero ka, guys? Hero ka ba o billing? Guys, hero ka. Kasi nag-engage ka sa isang uh, derivative, sa futures, tapos makakabili kayo ang delivery ng price ng oil nyo, 78, kaysa sa 200. Okay, you get the point, guys? Get the point? Oops, okay. Time na, no? So let me just end in this. So sorry for the extension, no? So, instead of future, sana pwede niyong ginawa options. Kasi, paano kung ang naging price ng oil sa spot market December 31, naging $15 sa lang? Patay ka, no? Patay ka. Kasi nag-contract ka ng, ng oil, 78, eh naging 15 na lang siya. So, parang double-edged sword yung future, sana. Pero kung nag-option sana, guys, ang mangyayari sa options, ang bibili mo hindi yung oil. Ang bibili mo yung option to buy the oil. So, iba yun. Okay? Pagdating kunyari ng December 31, kung 200 yung ano, yung price, then you will you will exercise the option. Okay? Pag naging 15 na lang siya, you will not exercise the option to buy the oil. 
Okay, I know guys, medyo, ano, medyo, uh, I gave you a mouthful, but uh, we'll continue with this next meeting. And uh, natuto ko rin ng konti guys, kahit pa paano, pakichat naman, I'll end in this. Uh, may natutunan naman ng konti guys. Oh, correct, no? Correct. Yung sinabi ni uh, Mika na uh, ano to, multiplier or leverages, no? Okay, thank you guys. Salamat, salamat ha. And we'll continue with this discussion. I, I, uh, ano ko rin, isi-send ko yung PowerPoint na to. Uh, yung kasama ng mga uh, sinulat ko dito. Okay? So, salamat. Thank you for the feedback. You learned a lot. I enjoyed this session with you. I'll see you guys next week. And please have a safe weekend ahead. Thank you and God bless you all. Salamat. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you